reception for the Socceroos with the team at his private residence here in Athens last night. Only for brief half an hour and it was uh, coke, lemonade and sausages on a stick. Rudy really Gutendorf making quite sure that his boys were home earlier and in bed and in full readiness for today's game. Damasas enjoying this moment and enjoying everything that is being bestowed on him. Freedom of the city as well, I should think. The man who uh, was his manager, his coach, in the days that Panathinaikos went to the European Cup final, of course, the very great galloping major himself of the Hungarian side of yesteryear, back in the 50s, Ferenc Puskas who was the man in charge here at Panathinaikos in those days. In fact, curiously enough, went across to Ayak a couple of years ago, and then the first thing he did was take Gomasas across there. He paid 55,000 francs for him, and Gomasas is with the Ayak side now. I was here in Athens a couple of years back when Gomasas was injured just before the game with Nottingham Forest in the European Cup, was unable to play, and Forrest put Ayak out of the European Cup. Rather unfortunate in some respects. Oh, well, we're getting some front views. It's unfortunate in some respects that the main VIP box is the far side of the field because the boys are all lining up to look at them and we get basically the backs of necks. It's beginning to look as though we're going to have that kickoff for like three o'clock at 2.45 here in the afternoon, a warm afternoon of that. Gary Cole looking very relaxed. I must say I'm very impressed with the relaxed attitude that uh, I've experienced with the Australian team. No big tooting. Senior Vice President of the Australian Soccer Federation giving the Socceroos a last message of good luck messages of good luck that they've been receiving over here in Athens. Even though I go the news from home with the problems preventing uh, a replacement for Johnny Is and Dawn. Uh, it's been rather difficult. The referee, incidentally, today is uh, Mr. Burakis, a, uh, a Greek official, massive figure there, then, of Murray Barnes, skipper, and a proud moment for him. First time he's captained the national side, and it really is the long and short of it out the middle. As far as the two captains are concerned, Murray Barnes towering over the tiny figure of uh, Dimitri Domasos, captain of his national side, of course, on this, his last appearance for them. So, Domasos goes away to his position in midfield, position that Tomasas will take up with Balis, Damanyakis and Kudas. They'll have two front runners, number seven Zigros, number nine Araldam Bridis. And the back four, Gunaris at two, Ravosis at four, he's the centre half. Parascos, number five, the sweeper, and Paras Pastanidis, the left full back. Gave you the Australian side. I'll quickly run through it again as we get the starting whistle. And it is the yellow shirted kangaroos with the white shorts. If, like me, you're watching this in black and white. Uh, yellow shirts and white shorts of the Socceroos attacking the goal to our left. And the reverse colours for Greece. White shirts, blue shorts. And here's the masses on the ball immediately. Zindros ready to come in and he was offside. Zindros uh, 
brand newcomer to the senior international side for Greece from the Aris club a right winger fast and menacing the thrown ball then for Steve Perry Kenny Burden laying it off but it's back to Perry and they need to keep possession and slow the game down and you can bet that Pascalo will do that so much experience in this uh, Yugoslavian player in the days when he was at uh, Village Mostar cut out ball by Kudas it's Domas is making it back no foul of course that's nice work by Kenny Bowden brought down just outside the box by the number six Babis so a moment of menace for Greece to soak up with Rudy Gutendorf and his assistant Les Schoenfug have worked out something for this Pascalo is there and the number nine Gary Cole is there as well I'm just wondering if Cole might try something extravagant no he goes away it's Pascalo the long trip to the far post yeah, a bit of pushing going on and uh, Klenchevich was the man doing the fouling couldn't get the ball back across the box Constantino the goalkeeper was in the uh, full Greek side in their travels in Rome or in Italy in fact for the uh, European Championships Velasquez a big tall lad stations himself well behind the defense here he is again looking for openings takes up Ballis Dunaris Dunaris working with Zindros on the back of Dunaris again and Zindros making the break on the outside well, Woodhouse was out smartly to smother that but already Zindros showing pace talent and ability on the right side for Greece Davidson half winning the ball Cole is there and here's the wee fella Domazos Zindros going through the middle cut out by Tanzi Ravusis Parascos moment the Greeks basically playing with only three at the back of the park that's Tanzi's header forward for the goal a little bit of nudging Ravusis who uh, Cole was leaning on and a free kick to Greece which uh, Ravusis will take a very experienced international something over 19 caps of the full national side Greek side that was a push at the back not spotted and a miss kick, a rather bad one then by uh, Pascalo. But there was a positive push at the back by the number nine, Haralam Bridis, before that incident, which produced nothing. Anyway, Tomasos is going to take this corner near post, cut out by Krenjevic. And away goes Peter Shah. You have to slow this down because he's got no support troops up with him. Unless he decides to go all the way on his own. Ball out. He just had to go on running then because uh, Australia brought everybody back in defense and they weren't getting support troops up quickly enough. <laughs> Murray Barnes under this gets it down only as far as Zindros. Zindros attacking Tanzi. Kudas got the time to turn ball into Sindros again Tanzi gets a half ball away Damaso stops it back Cole attacking but Kudas was there first now it's Kunaris ball well knocked out there by Henderson and Cole giving us a chase and that's good skills nicely turned by Ravusis Vales leaving it for Damaso Tanzi having to turn and hurry Goalkeeper's ball. Gary Woodhouse 
wearing a pink green jockey cap. The dying sun here, very strong. Good attack by Henderson. Davidson robbed. Fernandiakos. And now Parapasanidis. Rabus is on the ball. Domatos. He looks for Zindros. Zindros forced to turn. Not allowed to by Trenchvich. And the Australians learning very early that any, any form of... Uh, Physical contact is going to get uh, a penalizing whistle, especially from a Greek referee. The European would probably let it go. Looks to Carlo getting it out. Zindros hustled out of it by Kenny Bowden. That was a foul, and the referee allows play on. Well, <laughs> let's see if the Australians can capitalize on it. Cole there. That was a very, very good ball from uh, Kenny Bowden indeed. So in all conscience, had they scored then, I think it would have been slightly unfair because it was a definite trip by Bowden when he won the ball in the first place. Adam Ambridis losing the ball in the air. Piscalo off for C. Perry. And Sean, a chance to... Oh, unlucky. Hit him in the, in the middle of the back. Carapasanidis. And here's Balis. Cole immediately coming to him fast. Tomasos dropping deeper and deeper to try and feed things. Tunaris. Well, that was a uh, foul, which the referee did spot Kenny Bowden doing. Tunaris has made a fair-sized meal of things. And the cohorts come on to... Does Kenny Bowden fall through now for... Gary Cole, that was the, the earlier, earlier moment that we saw. Constantino did very well, in fact, to come to the feet of Cole as he did. <laughs> in the meantime, the injury to Tunaris is being sorted out. There's been a lot of discussion as to how many substitutes can be used here this afternoon. Um, I think that's Panagoulis, the Greek national coach, wanted to use about four, I think, and really good and wasn't prepared to go that far. What decision they came to remains a mystery between them at the moment, but I can tell you that not so very long ago when Greece played Cyprus, that was at the start of 1980 of this year, uh, Panagoulis used six substitutes in that game. Well, it seems that they enjoyed the seeing of Constantino's work because we're going to see that moment again as Constantino came to the feet of Gary Cole to make the save. In time, the injury tied it up. We're back in the game live. Parapasanidis off to Balis. Little touch for Damasos. Going wide on the right side for Kudas. Throw in. Gandhi then for Piscalo. Little chip on then for Bowden. There's Tomasas. That's a good looking through ball, but Tanzi I think has Zindros. Well, he did enough to him to prevent the cross ball causing any problems. But Zindros certainly has pace. Gary Woodhouse without a, a direct shot to handle yet. And we've been going just under 10 minutes. Oh, that was a missed kick. And uh, Adel Ambridis is on in it quickly. And now it's uh, Dunan Yonkos. And Balis. And Balis again. And unmarked is Zidros. Ready to knock this one across the box. The shot then from Kudas. High, wide, and not very handsome. But I think they're going to have a substitution already. And a yellow card, in fact, we're getting. A card for Eddie Krenchevich. The uh, tackle earlier. Referee allowed play to go on. Didn't stop for the foul. 
unless it was something that uh, Benjamin said and the Greek referee understands rather more English than was perhaps supposed the kick given in Sean's favour the tackle by Parapathanidis and already the Greeks want to make a substitution the Greek referee won't let it be taken at this moment finally he has spotted it and we're going to have on Xenophopoulos Xanthopoulos for the injury to Thunaris. The free kick taken for Australia. And they immediately pull the troops back. Harold Ambridis being marked by Murray Barnes, the ball off the bodies. Zindros going into the middle and the newcomer, the number 12, Bantopopoulos making the first run and hoping to make his first contact. That's uh, Krenjevic. Now that was a totally deliberate, cynical foul by the number 6, Balis and that is worth a yellow card and the referee hesitatingly puts his hand to his top pocket Rudy Gutendorf on the park having a go at the referee being hauled away in fact and that's got to be worth a yellow card it really has if uh, if Penchevich was worth the yellow card earlier then that was definitely worth one the number six Balis made no bones about it at all I wonder if we can see this now there's Penchevich on his way now we'll look for the number six to come in. There's the number six. Bali's coming to him now. And there is the challenge. And you can see that was totally deliberate. In fact, I'm not at all sure it wasn't worth a red card. It's at least worth a yellow. But in fact, uh, the referee here, Mr. Vourakis, has decided that uh, that really is nothing to, to worry about. Well, you can see it again. And I think, Johnny Warren, you may like to comment on that at half-time because that really was a bit ugly. In the meantime, uh, Krenjevic is back on his feet. The administrations of uh, the training staff have sorted him out. And Tanzi takes a free kick. And Davidson was offside. dropping for Murray Barnes kept his head nicely and used it well too his bullies fall off to Zantopoulos Zindros says Tanzi slipped for a moment was a bit slow getting back into it again Zantopoulos and the curveball out for Damnan Yokos certain amount of excitement at the moment as the uh, crowd is standing up in front of me down to my left very much as though they brought some extra police in to the area the moment occupied by the Australian substitutes bench and uh, where Rudy Gutendorf the manager is in the meantime Damasus knocks that ball off Trenchvich gets it into Cole didn't really look Cole Anderson, that's a well-placed ball for Perry. Perry then has Sean working over that side with him. Tried to go alone. Taken out by Damnan Yuskos. And Perry again. Now it's Davidson. Tackled out of it by Babies. Is Bowden. Bowden still in there. Ball squirts away. Ballis is there. Davidson came in hard. Ball out for a corner to Greece. Well, 15 minutes gone. And still no saw here in the Panathinaikos Stadium in Athens. 
Domasos and now Dalis. An experimental ball from Dalis. The big double six is one that uh, Panagoulis is looking for to see if he's good enough for the Italian, the Italian job in uh, December. That's Davidson. Nicks that on for Krenjevic. Cole giving it a chase, but Constantino is there. Valis. Chased by both. Aralambidis and uh, Barnes. At the position at the moment that Barnes is picking up the number nine, Aralambidis, with uh, Pliscalo just dropping off, picking up the loose end. With Zindrosh in the middle. Hurried clearance by Henderson. Could have taken a little more time over that, perhaps. The loose is forward for Zantopoulos. Kudas gets the turn in for Damasos. Valis again. Turning and trying to work it down the right side where the number 11 is hoping for a pass. It's coming his way now. Uh, in fact, it was Zantopoulos who got there first. Damasos. Get Kudas wriggling away from two tackles. Going to try one with the left foot. No. Nope. Should have done. And Australia being penned right back in their own half at the moment. They need to explode a little bit. Get something going up front. Get away on the break. This is Cole. Krenjevic ready to run. If he goes too soon, to be offside. And Steve Perry has made the break through the middle. Oh, enterprise by the right fullback in the Socceroos side. Arrived a bit late, though. Domatas probing from midfield. Adelan Bridis and a ball out to the left, and Australia could be in trouble. And Adelan Bridis, surely. Well, that was good goalkeeping by Greg Woodhouse because Adelan Bridis was on a surefire chance then. Australians have failed to pick up uh, Kudas on the left-hand side. And his ball in. Here's Kudas now. They failed to pick him up. And the ball in looked a cert for Aral Ambridis. But Greg Woodhouse, his reaction was sharp. He was out there before the big fella could react and get a toe to the ball. And Woodhouse brought off a smart save at the fella's feet. Well, Jimmy Tamsey puts the ball out. Now Domasos. Harold Ampreed is going in and Barnes. Well, I think in fact that Barnes was well advised to get his head to that one. I think Woodhouse was a little slow off his line. And the big number nine, Harold Ampreed, might have got there. But it's a corner. Zindros would take it. Tanzi on the far post is Zindros now. Way across from this kick by Balis. And Cole comes away. He'll have to go on his own, though, because there's no support. And he has. Sean trying to get there against uh, Parapasanidis. Balis. Domasos takes over. Works a lot in his own half of the field. Santopoulos for Balis. Kudas unmarked away over to the left. That was a bad ball. It didn't give Zantopoulos any chance at all. An Australia breakout through Jim Tansy. We've got Cole in the middle. Kenny Bowden's about to make the run down the left side. Must release it now. Good refereeing. Let play on. Bowden there. Ready to knock it in. No, he's held on too long. Tansy getting support. Got to go back to Bowden again now. And Australia in the middle, lining up for the ball and lose it. And on the break, the Greeks could get away. Well read by Barnes. Foul by Aralambridis on Murray Barnes. So a free kick to Australia. Felt that uh, the Socceroos looked a little bit slow to capitalise on a situation with Bowden and Tansy working down that left side just now. Prezalko going long, trench it. 
Krejcevic getting up, but fouling to get there. He uh, did, in fact, look too easy for him to get up against the... get up higher than the Greek defenders. Afternoon sun bathing the stadium. The spectators thoroughly enjoying the sight at the moment. Here's Damianai, Damianaikos, Pozindros. Domazos couldn't get it back to him. The one-two didn't work. And now Davidson for Australia. Can't give it back to Woodhouse. He's got Zendros goal side of him. <laughs> Davidson gets the foul, but he showed a lot of composure as he retained possession then. That would have been a bad chance to have lost the ball. Cole getting a touch on for Bowden. No, it didn't reach him. Domasas. Zendros, Tanzi in quickly. Domasas gets the ball back. Bad ball. Now, let's see if Klenchevich can make something of this. Damasos, the man penalised. I cannot see that the number 10, Damasos, would pick up a yellow card here this afternoon on such a, an occasion. No, uh, to be honest, and, and uh, to address that, I am not for one moment indicating that Damasos deserved a yellow card there, but even if he had, I'm quite sure he wouldn't have got one. Tanzi's free kick. Easy head out, but Davidson there now. An up and under, offside flag against uh, Petrovic, who would be very wise to think twice before doing things like that. Could be construed as dissent, and he has one yellow card. He can't have two, it'll be a red one next time. Domasos. Oh, the ball given away to Perry, and a quick break on here for Cole. Support from Sean down the middle. He's going to try this himself. He's going to score. Oh, fine goal. Gary Cole, 1-0 Australia. And he really did that with a great deal of elan and skill and style and coolness. And the crowd here at the Panathinaikos Stadium, just the tiniest bit quiet. Look at this run now through for Gary Cole. It looked to me as though he ought to have given the ball to Bowden, but he knew better. He had the confidence to do it all by himself. He's taken one man out. It's the goalkeeper now. He's away from Constantino. And there is that empty net. And there's Gary Cole slotting in a 1-0 lead for Australia. Well, now let's see if... Uh, Adelan Breed is immediately striking back. And this is, of course, the very worst time for Australia. Having just scored, they've now got to steal themselves, not lose their concentration. A side that has just scored in a, in an away international, quite often so excited by it, they lose their concentration and give an equaliser away. And now's the moment for Murray Barnes on the ball now to exert his influence as captain, keep the side thinking about their job, Remembering the plans that have been worked out for it. Henderson. Barnes. Miss kick, but he'll be there again. Now Davidson. The ball through the middle and Krenjevic giving it a try. But he was on his own. Jantopoulos. Well, they've been exposed at the back a couple of times. The Greeks paid the penalty the once. There's Kuda now. Delaying it for Balis. Perry in quickly. That ball will drop for Domasos. Domasos, little curl ball. A good one. A beautiful equaliser too from Damianikos. And the man who did it, the number 10, Domasos, the first man to get the congratulations. A lot of skill, a lot of European skill then from Domasos. And the perfect finishing touch. Look at the way Domasos picks up the danger man immediately. 
Damianikos on the near post and when he chips this one in there it goes now he chips it in Damianikos gets there first a little flick of the head and Greg Woodhouse beaten on his near post for a 1-1 equaliser from Damianikos so just over 25 minutes gone and it's 1-1 Well, I can't say that the Socceroos lost their concentration, as was my first fear after they'd scored, because that was a superbly constructed goal by one of the great internationals in European football. Zalko keeping his head. His pansy unlucky. Well, it was handball against Henderson. And a dangerous situation here. European footballers particularly work on set-piece moves. Just outside the goal, Damaso's hitting that one very long. And it was Balis who got up. And the header clean over the bar. Very tall, athletic uh, young man is Balis from the Aris Salonica club. down by Kudas, Henderson allowing the ball to go out Davidson now jogging the footsteps of Gomasos Davidson, Trenchvich Davidson unmarked man forward and the ball one way by Gomasos over to Kudas Australia losing it again to Kudas Damniakos that's one for the crowd. Jamiakos, the man who scored the equaliser. Feeling that it might be his day to get a couple more. Goal scoring has been uh, a bit of a problem for the Greeks already this year. They've played eight matches. One, only one of them, that was against Denmark in the World Cup recently. But they've only been able to score four goals in eight games. One of the reasons that the big lad, Aralem Bridis, is on this afternoon. Davis a good ball. Bowden, Cole in there arriving. Karapastoridis did not get in there. Sean with support from Steve Perry. Perry again. A low one then for Cole, didn't reach him. Barnes. Little touch for Perry. And for Skull. For Zanko. For Scala. Murray Barnes. Australia still adventurous enough to keep three up the front. One of them is Cole, who is being fouled there by Rabusis. And they've got... Uh, Kenny Bowden in an advanced position and Eddie Krenjevic coming in from the left side and for this free kick uh, reinforcing them by bringing up Henderson Sean's in the box and the kick to come in from Perry Constantine a little punch down Henderson now for a second little chip offside Cole but forward a little too fast. Well, the Socceroos at least keeping their goal scoring run alive. Six, seven games in a row now. They've planted the ball in the opposition net. they'd do with a new, another one now in this last 15 minutes before half time would be a bit useful Domasos the back heel Ravusi is off for uh, Domasos oh that was that was too clever by half Davidson could punish them Sean making the run through the middle Constantino's come and gone 
Sean then with Cole on the back post now. The ball in for Kenny Bowden. Got to hit it. Oh, what a mistake. What a terrible mistake for Kenny Bowden. And all stepping back from uh, Domaso Son, his farewell day being much too clever by half. Davidson robbing him, getting him organized out of the game completely. Sean's break was good. Sean laying it in the path of Kenny Bowden here. And he should have kept it down. By a mile, it's over the bar. Bad mistake. A chance gone. Greece come back again. Davidson fast in on Damaso. And Davidson there again. This boy so highly thought of by manager and coach Rudy Gutendorf. And looking the part here this afternoon. The number four for the Socceroos. And another bigger part. The number ten. This Carlo doesn't need to play it. Go kick. Sweeper man, Ravusis, Paraskos rather, was there. Paraskos occasionally getting himself in trouble in that last man position. The one place you cannot afford to make a mistake. Parapathanidis, ball across to Paraskos. Xanthopoulos. Valis, bad ball, casual ball, didn't mean anything. Tanzi. Ran into trouble, he's played out of the game now. And Xanthopoulos could make the soccer who's pay for this. That was Zendros. It's Henderson. Sean making his run down the right. But Apastanidis comes back at him. Free kick against the uh, Greek fullback. The number, number three from the... Uh, I Athens Club. I of Athens, the Athletic Union of Constantinople. Beautiful ground they've got over there too. But here's Steve Ferry with this free kick. Cole couldn't quite get up. A lazy shot then from Krejcevic. No power on it. And here's Kudas with a chance of a break. Ball through the middle for Adelambridis. Again, Murray Barnes sticking to him. Little chop in and Damiankis. Damianikos, number eight offside. That's number nine, Adelambridis. and it's uh, an Australian throw. Clouds beginning to gather over this uh, Panathinaikos Stadium now, wondering whether we're going to get some rain. It was about this time yesterday afternoon, I think, that we had a, a downpour. Here's Perry now for Australia. Ball chipped in. Too long for Cole, in fact. Tomasos, Tanzi. Trenchevich, the touch inside. Easily taken by Bellis. Now Balis. Lampopoulos, Balis. Ball off for Kuda. Damianikos brought down from behind by Terry. A free kick to Greece. And we should be looking for Adlam Bredis, the big number nine, to get to our post. There he is, just gone through. Looking for him, of course, will be Murray Barnes. Zendros is in the box too with Tanzi. Kudas the free kick, curling it. Kudas again. No, he wouldn't get it. Domasos. 
It's stopped by Pascalo. But he fouled Kuda. Free kick to Greece. A little further back than the previous one. The referee, we are very firm in getting him 10 yards back. There's two in the wall as Dumas has lobbed that one in. That's a fair punch from uh, Woodhouse. He was under a lot of pressure. And the one thing a goalkeeper's got to do, if he comes out to punch, he's got to get distance and height. And he got both. Gansopoulos. Kudas missing his kick. Kanzi, the ball out. So a throw to Greece. But nine minutes to go down to half time. 1-1 one, one the score. Domasa, Kanzi up in the air. Zindros under it. Now Krenjevic. Davidson. Krenjevic, the ball to Kanzi, the booted ball out. Now let's see if Sean can get away clean. That was handball, in fact, by the number five. The oh, the linesman on the far side flagged on handball for Parascos and took it down. Here's Australia again. Krenjevic for Bowden. Cole starts his run. And the ball cut out neatly by Rabutis. And Domasos for Zendros. Woodhouse quickly off his line. Tanzi. I wonder if they can exploit Sean's speed and Bowden's calmness down the middle for getting that one shot over the bar. It's the soft part of this Greek defence at the moment is straight down the middle. And Paraskos is not having a particularly good game. Krenjevic. Headed ball down from Arambides at Kanzi forward. Rabusis. He's the most experienced one, I suppose, of the back four in the uh, Greek defence. That's Henderson off to Perry. Ball back into Henderson. And an easy one for Xanthopoulos. And once again, it's Kudas down the middle and coming in from the far side. Gamianipas. Attacking Barnes, the shot's a good one too. And Domasis could be in there. Ball out, go kick. Well, that was uh, a very dangerous moment then. What a blistering shot from uh, Damianikos. And Woodhouse did very well to get for it. You can see the power of the drive coming in now. And look at the way the little man, Domasos, is up there. After the save is made, the ball drops loose. The first man to pick up the crumbs. The little man, Domasos. Are we going to see him come into the picture? No, we're not. We're freezing it there. But he was, in fact, first man there. Barnes then for Australia as we're back in the game live again. Live through Channel 028. Right across Australia tonight. Referee refusing, which I think is rather foolish, refusing uh, Charlie Juricic on to give treatment. Certainly Bowden looked as though he, uh, he picked up a pretty bad bang. Well, the soccer is still in well in this game, starting their tour here in Athens. Scoring a good goal, having an equally good one scored against them. And 1-1 uh, seems a fair sort of score at the moment. You look back on a couple of chances for Australia when they might have done just a fraction better in front of goal. That's Dr. Siri Kanagaro out to uh, see that everything was all right. He's travelling with the Australian party. It looks as though uh, Kenny Bowden got a very bad hand injury in that uh, last incident. 
Big long throw from Zapopoulos trying to get Thalys away clear. Davidson robs him very smoothly. Good little player this is. Krenjevic must let knock it back. Shallow. Davidson, time to turn. That's a very dangerous ball to have given, in fact. Henderson will be all right with it, but it wasn't accident. It wasn't accurate or hard enough. Henderson then for Australia. Former captain of the Australian side. Big long ball aiming for Bowden. Ravusis who got up. Here's Cole. Santopoulos doesn't want to give the ball back to his goalkeeper. He's got Bowden behind him. Fallis picking things up from midfield. Kudas. As Haralambridis, it's too long for him. We see the tiny figure of uh, the number 10, Domasis now. Having apparently a little rest out on the far touch line. Ball in for Damian Nikos. And Damian Nikos again. And he could strike a good ball, this fella. The lovely little chip in. Haralambridis got the header on the end of it. But no power, it was a, a dolly header. This is Davidson. Henderson. Australians bringing it down to walking pace at the moment. Bowden. Henderson. And now Pascalo. Krenjevic on for Kanzi. Ball out. This is a testing time for the Australians who uh, all the players out of the park they're wanting to do well so they can pick up uh, Rudy Gutendorf's touch get his ascent for the game in uh, Birmingham against England B next week and in general terms they're sticking to their job very well here's Peter Shan breaking away Cole is up there with it. He might go all the way on his own. He knocked it into the box. Knock it back now, Cole, for Bowden. Too strong. It needed a roll pass. Just a little roll pass was all that was wanted there. Oh, and the ball given away. Bowden picks it up for Krenjevic. The ambitions of Eddie Krenjevic not quite measuring up to his athletic prowess at that moment. Good idea, but it wasn't uh, really on. And here's a break for the Greeks with Balis. Grenjevic there. Kanzi turned. Did very well because I thought he was going to pass it back. He didn't. Triscalo. Grenjevic. Davidson. Greek throw in. Oh, badly thrown ball. Kanzi. Henderson through the middle. And on the break, Peter Sean. One on two, that's a foul. Wasn't playing the ball when he made the tackle. That's a corner. Very, very wild that pass. Saying earlier that both the number four, the Rusis, and the number five, Tarascos, in the heart of the Greek defense. Uh, don't think they've actually worked together before. Tarascos from Castoria, Ravusis from uh, Hayek Athens. They haven't worked up a good understanding here yet. Here's the corner there. Henderson got the touch. Cole! Oh! Well, there's an offside flag up. That must have been way for thin. And so was the ball that lobbed against the bar from Cole's boot. Domasas for Balis. Kudas breaking down the centre. Arlan Breed is going out on the left side. Barnes is with him. Here's Damien Yakos. <laughs> Davidson. Davidson coming away from Damasos. Cole starts his run. Oh, given offside again. Well, the Greek official, I think, was probably right that time. But the breaking of Cole down the centre, proving a positive threat. As we come right down to the line here at half time, and a half time score line. I think fairly reflecting the conduct of the game. 1-1, just about right. 
look back with some pleasure on that uh, goal from Gary Cole, which put, uh, which put the Australians in front, and totally deservedly. They saw the Roos going off to consider now whether they might have been able to have done anything with that superb little goal that Jan Yako scored. There's no doubt about it that Demarcus was the man who, who set it all up. Beautiful chip ball in from the right side. And Damian Nikos getting on the end of it to punish the Australians. I feel there's possibly quite a lot to look back on in the first half. One or two of the tackles perhaps were just a little bit naughty. I feel that uh, the tackle that took Kenny Bowden, the one by Bally, certainly deserved a yellow card. He didn't, in fact, suffer any damage, but I think the man who was most incensed by it was Rudy Guttendorf. I've never seen a, a manager come off the, off the bench and go for a referee the way he did. And in my opinion, totally justified too. It was a bad tackle. But Ballis has calmed down a bit. Kenny Bowden wasn't hurt. So we have a half-time score here of 1-1. One, one. I think this might be an appropriate moment to hand back to you in the studio back in Australia uh, for Johnny Warren and uh, Vladimir Lusik perhaps to look back and talk about some of the incidents in this first half. For the moment then, Hugh Johns in Athens, signing off here just for a moment or two. Thank you, Hugh. Well, there you are. Um, a very exciting, scrappy first half. And uh, I suppose you would agree with me, John. Yes, I would tend to. I think the most favourable thing as far as the Australian team is concerned is probably the scoreline. Um, without being critical of their performance, I think it's fair to say that the team um, there's a lack, real lack of cohesion, cohesion and, yeah. and I think this is attributable to the number of changes that we have in the personnel in the national team over a period of international games. Admittedly, Australia is trying now to, to find out who are the best, but I think it's probably past the time now of testing with the elimination games uh, starting next April that the Australian national team should have a team. If we look uh, there at the moment, I feel the midfield of Henderson and uh, Davidson and Bowden is not uh, operating terribly, terribly well. And this is understandable uh, with the midfield, the Australian team changing so much. Uh, Henderson is not suited, to my, in my opinion, to the midfield role. Um, Sean has been terribly quiet. Probably uh, Gary Cole at this stage is the one of the few Australians who is playing to the potential uh, that we know and also as far as the uh, defenders are concerned there's very little positive uh, play coming from them again uh, without trying to be uh, critical of, of the Australian th team I think the score line is a little bit at this stage a little bit flattering to them I think th there is a lot of excitement being created but it's mostly individual effort I well, even the goal by Gary Cole was yeah. an individual effort. Yeah, well, at this stage, I think it's very much like a lottery game. Mm. Things are happening because the ball is bouncing there. I think it, it uh, there was only one really uh, conceived uh, uh, positive move uh, that, which threatened the uh, Greek goal. Again, I think it's fair in the circumstances too to say that for a lot, a lot of the Australian players, that uh, even though they've played together in Australia during the current season a lot, this is entirely different circumstances now. That they're playing on, on foreign soil, uh, have to adjust to local conditions, food, ground, crowd, uh, away from home and so on. So it's in that respect, it's a very good experience. And I think uh, there were signs towards the end that they were coming out of this uh, you know, lack of cohesion and perhaps uh, stage fright. Yes. Um, Eddie Kunchevic um, tried... Uh, on several occasions, solo efforts on the left there, but um, didn't get far once he was stopped. I suppose we'll be able to see this in the highlights. Um, can we see the highlights now, please? That's uh, Krenjevic. Well, that was a totally deliberate, cynical foul by the number six, Balis, and that is worth a yellow card. And the referee hesitatingly puts his hand to his top pocket. Rudy Gutendorf on the park, having a go at the referee, being hauled away, in fact. And that's got to be worth a yellow card. It really has. If, uh, if Penchevich was worth the yellow card earlier, then that was definitely worth one. The number six Ballis made no bones about it at all. I wonder if we can see this now. There's Penchevich on his way. Now we'll look for the number six to come in. There's the number six Ballis coming to him now. 
and there is the challenge and you can see that was totally deliberate in fact i'm not at all sure it wasn't worth a red card at, at that moment i told you john um, after that kernchevich will won't be himself and he wasn't he was sharp in the beginning up to that point and this is what some of the coaches instruct their defenders they say you know fix him up and he'll be finished for the rest of the game. Yeah, well, well, I think it's fair to say it was a bad foul. Krenčevic generally has been playing, doing a lot, a lot of work, particularly his defensive duties. Uh, well, that was one of the all too few, if you like, uh, positive moves from him. But uh, they're talking yellow and red cards. I think uh, as far as whoever should have got a yellow or a red card out of that Rudy should have been uh, Rudy Goodendorf. And yeah. I think if Rudy <laughs> is a tough disciplinarian and demands a lot of his players, but I think he should set the example and that, that's inexcusable what was on there. Yes, uh, let's see our next uh, highlight. I think it's, it's, it happened in the, in the 23rd minute. That was um, the goal by Gary Cole. Uh, Gary Cole uh, yes. Oh, a fine goal! Gary Cole! one nothing Australia. And he really did that with a great deal of elan and skill and style and coolness. And the crowd here at the Panathinaikos Stadium, just the tiniest bit quiet. Look at this run now through for Gary Cole. It looked to me as though he ought to have given the ball to Bowden, but he knew better. He had the confidence to do it all by himself. He's taken one man out. It's the goalkeeper now. He's away from Constantino, and there is that empty net, and there's Gary Cole slotting in a 1-0 lead for Australia. He made a wise decision there. He, he decided to go alone. Uh, he did a lot of thinking, and it, it proved... Uh, yes, well, Gary, Gary Cole confirming his rating, uh, which yes. is uh, built over the year as a leading goal scorer in Australia. Three goals in the grand final. That's a world-class goal. Gary is sought after by uh, Greek clubs, and I'm sure that effort there is uh, going to double his price. But a, a really a top goal, and uh, again, Gary's, I would think, is an outstanding performer at this stage. Yes, and um, he proved that in the final, didn't he? Three goals in Canberra. Yeah, and confirmed there as well. Okay, our next um, segment, I think it's, it's the equaliser. That happened in the 25th minute. Made the penalty the once. As Kudas now. Delaying it for Balis. Carry in quickly. That ball will drop for Domasos. Domasos, little curl ball. Good one. A beautiful equaliser too from Damian Nikos. And the man who did it, the number 10, Domasos, the first man to get the congratulations. A lot of skill, a lot of European skill then from Domasos. And the perfect finishing touch. Look at the way John Domasos picks up the danger man immediately, Damian Ikos on the near post, and when he chips this one in there it goes now he chips it in, Damian Ikos gets there first, a little flick of the head and Greg Woodhouse beaten on his near post for a 1-1 equaliser from Damian Ikos As Hugh said, John a magnificent cross by the Mazes, and I'm sure you have something to say about that player you know you met him you played against him yeah well i said earlier in the show it's a great honor to have played against a player of such uh, stature i think it's interesting that uh, they said before the game they're going to play demazos for only 20 minutes yeah. and i think it's also fair to say that in the first half he's been the outstanding player on the field more he's created more uh, that goal uh, was a, another world-class effort if there were the two goals so far have been really the highlights of uh, of the first half, but an excellent cross to the near post, um, initiated by Damazos, and uh, only confirming again what a uh, tremendously talented and skilled player this guy is uh, to be able to do that at 40 at international level uh, speaks volumes for him. Although I would still like to say what, what I told you during the game that Woodhouse would have saved that if there if it wasn't for that flick. Oh yes, um, an excellent. Yeah, uh, I think it's, it, it, he called him. Damiani, Damianikos, or well, I, I'm not familiar with the player. Um, our next um, clip is Bowden missing a goal. Oh, that was that was too clever by half. Davidson could punish them. Sean making the run through the middle. Constantino's come and gone. Sean then with Cole on the back post now. The ball in for Kenny Bowden. He's got to hit it. Oh, what a mistake! What a terrible mistake for Kenny Bowden. And all stemming back from. Uh, Domasos on his 
farewell day being much too clever by half Davidson rubbing him getting him organized out of the game completely Sean's break was good Sean laying it in the path of Kenny Bowden here and he should have kept it down by a mile it's over the bar now uh, John um, those type of actions were rare that that was a combined effort several players participating in that yeah, was, and we, we're not seeing much of that no it was one of the, one of the uh, few combination moves of the Australian mm -hmm. team started by Davidson and involving Sean and Bowden it was probably the best chance and uh, was missed <laughs> yes um, we may have another another shot it is um, when they hit the post this here here it is Henderson got the touch Cole oh well, there's an offside flag up. That must have been wafer thin. And so was the ball that lobbed against the bar from Cole's boot. Domasas for Balis. Kudas breaking down the centre. Arlan Breed is going out on the left side. Barnes is with him. Here's Daniel Yakos. <laughs> Davidson. Well, there you are. Um, a lot of action, a lot of individual effort, one combined effort. Johnny Warren, what would you do if you were the coach? What would you change now in the dressing room? Well, it's easy to uh, make a lot of changes um, to the side. I feel that uh, it's up to Rudy to get a lot more out of uh, his key key players, um, particularly the Hendersons and uh, Shans you'd be looking for a lot more more positive contribution from particularly from the back four players uh, perry has been uh, attacking um in a little way uh, but not not enough uh, for my liking but and and jim tansy who's a fine attacking fullback hasn't participated i would tend to look at uh at swapping the roles of henderson and barnes barnes is a midfielder for his club and is playing stopper Henderson is much better as a stopper, so I would change Henderson to the rear and Barnes back into midfield. Would you say that uh, is, uh, Eisendorn, I should say, is uh, really missing out of this team? Uh, well, I, I don't, uh, I don't particularly feel so. At, uh, you know, at this stage, I feel if they would achieve the same by having Henderson back to stopper and Barnes. You mean the, the swap would uh, yeah. solve the problem? What about the front uh, trio? Now the front, I would I would leave the same at this stage. Okay, I think we are ready to cross over to Hugh Jones once again. Danganikos picking up a lovely little flick header, and really Gary Woodhouse cannot be blamed for being beaten on his near post with a goal like that. <laughs> so the Greek referee. Mr. Vurakis gets them lined up in the middle of the field. A substitution, as I said, Gelikaris, the Panathinaikos side on, and Kudas, Georgi Kudas from the fight, Salonika side off. The second substitution made by Greece. 1 1 the score, and the Socceroos also have brought on the substitute, Mark Jankovic. And we have to have a quick look round to make sure that we find out which one is missing. And it looks as though Kenny Bowden is not out here for the second half. So perhaps that arm injury is a little more serious than it looked. And here immediately, Domasos knocking that one wide for Vincindros. Tanzi has got to make the challenge properly, and he does. And Delicat is getting his first touch. The ball again for Delicat. That's an awkward high hanging ball. Woodhouse under a lot of pressure. The foul on the goalkeeper. Arlambridis. But Murray Barnes managed to sweep the ball to safety. It's the corner. Marshall takes it. Again, going high for the far post. And Barnes being rushed heavily then by the uh, 
pick number four for Babusi. That corner again, Domatos could knock it short if he wants to, but again he goes far post and gets it away. And the Australians were under a lot of pressure in that situation. Here's Peter Shan and the ball bouncing on this bone hard pitch. Very unkindly for it. Domatos then. In for Delicari. Good, solid challenge by Henderson. Cole trying to make himself available on the left side. Instead, it's Sean. Needs the ball across the box. Good goalkeeping by Constantino. But a very fine break by Australia. This is where they are showing so much danger. They're getting in amongst this Greek defence very, very fast. The final punch at goal, not perhaps as accurate as it should be. And they won a court. They've won a corner out of this one. And Sean hoping to deliver this one with some menace. Fighting for it, Krenjevic. Krenjevic penalised. Balis complaining to the referee, got one in the back. That was the challenge that Henderson put in. What a powerful one it was too. Sean broke well, the ball ran unkindly for him, Constantino came well. And Jankovic on for Kenny Boat. The start of the second half, getting his first taste of action. Mark Jankovic from the uh, Marconi Club. Tackle from behind by Henderson on Delicaris. Calls for the free kick whistle. Rabusis with the free kick. Aralambridis got a good touch. Zendros trying to turn Aralambridis last bit. Got a touch off hands. He goes for a corner on the right side. Gritty determination by the Greeks at the start of this first half. Zendros, quick corner for Delicaris. That's a nasty looking ball. Hooked away by Henderson. Domasa, little touch forward for Balis. Orlambridis was offside, no flag. Goalkeeper made the save anyway. Well done, Woodhouse. And now it's Perry. Barnes. Balis. Parapasanidis. That's a nice ball for Balis. Balis off to Arlambridis. Garicaris. Comes away from the tackle. Well, good looking attack. Zendros got a touch in the wrong direction. Yankovic out only as far as Balis. And a break here for Australia. Now, Shan, who has this tremendous speed. Can he exploit it here against Rabusis? No, he can't. Good skill control by the experienced Greek international. Damianakis. Paraskos. Damianakis. Jankopoulos. Zindros. Kanzi has jogged Zindros very well, but the, he's away free. Pascalo did just enough. That's what the last man has got to do every time. Carapastanidis <laughs> into Thalys, Delicaris. The highly skilled midfield player, this Delicaris. He is certainly one that uh, is very much in line for World Cup games in Greece's group against Luxembourg, Yugoslavia, Denmark and Italy. Domasis. Here's Davidson for Australia. It's a bit long for Sean. He won't catch that. Ravusis for Parastas. Well, that's just not too many options open to him. Balis makes himself available. 
Oh. A fair old meaty sandwich between uh, Trenchevich and uh, Jankovic. So the free kick. Then for Popular. Can be climbing well. Henderson. Zembros. Rabu. High hanging ball. Oh, Mark has very nearly crept in again. That's uh, the number 11, the goal scorer for Bruce. Constant most and dangerous inside the penalty area. Now Australia rather anxiously bring the troops back. Tanzi on the back post, Perry on the front post, Gamatos with the corner. Woodhouse flapped at that. It could come back again from Delicaris. Trying a 1-2 then with uh, Parapasanidis. Delicaris again for Gamatos. This is a Panathinaikos inspired move. Far post ball, Aralandrid is very nearly got up. That was an important header for Tanzi to make. And again, the pressure building all the time. Barnes gets that header away. Australia need to settle down, to cool down, get hold of that ball, and take cool control of the game again. Ballis stumbling away from two tackles. He's still there. Wendell Popolis. Delicaris has made all the difference to this Greek side since he came on as a substitute at half-time. Offside had to be Gary Cole, a mile off. Delicar is certainly looking to part in midfield for the Greeks, justifying the good things that were said about him by coach Panagoulis. Gomasos. Rabusis. Rabusis. Delicar who seems to be getting a foot in everything. Damianakis. Gomasos. Goalkeeper's ball. That was a rather sticky patch that uh, the Socceroos are going through. They need to uh, calm down, cool down, get possession, pick up, the, pick up their men again, and start off where they left off in the first half. And if you do it, of course, you know Pascalo. A lot of composure from his years in uh, Yugoslavian football with Village Mostar. That's not a bad ball. Aim for Perry. The ball knocked down by the number 11, Danyanakis. Parapasanidis, one of these newcomers to the Greek national side. Gericaris. Works with the throw in for Greece. Danyanakis. Rodusis. Danasis. Paraskas. Building slowly from the back. Adelon Bridis. <laughs> Almost going piggyback over Murray Barnes, who is a very, very tall man himself. He's too evenly matched for stature. Not far off in age. Adelon Bridis, 26, from north of Greece. And uh, Murray Barnes, captain of this Australian side, who are doing so well here through their efforts. And we hope you're enjoying the show too from Channel North 28. Paraskas then for Greece. Crowd a little silent now as the sun dips away behind the beautiful hills surrounding this glorious city of Athens. The evening still quite warm and balmy. And Australian fans would have gone balmy if uh, Danganikos had got in on that pass. Perry prevented it. Zindros. Nicely robbed. Zindros again. Working with his uh, fullback. That's the substitute. Ranthopoulos. On for uh, Dunaris, who was injured in the first half. That was a foul, I think, by Zindros on Tanzi. And the referee decides that it would be as well to have a word with both of them. 
No, he didn't give the foul. He had the, gave the admonition, but not the free kick. It's Delicaris. And Murray Barnes, last man then, to some good purpose for Australia. Delicaris wanted to take this left-footed the in-swing, but uh, the older, wiser veteran, Damasus, takes it right-footed. High right, dropping ball, goalkeeper impeded. Ball away, though, from uh, Henderson. Not a good time to get it back. Barnes. And gives the ball away there. Must get the clearance in now. Now, Murray Barnes living rather dangerously and I saw Gary Cole shake his head as he came back through picture and I tend to agree with him that was no time to do anything clever that was the time to do the simple thing accurately and firmly Barnes having uh, trodden on the ball I think may have done himself a, a small injury once again it's the administrations of uh, Charlie Juricic, physio and masseur to the Socceroos on this tour. Great character to have around on a tour, lovely sense of humour. The butt of many jokes of the players, but he takes it in such good part and gives a fair back in return. Cole getting a touch in there now Davidson Sean Santopoulos Domasos under pressure now from Davidson Tansy knocks it down for well it comes to Tansy again oh, that's Henderson well he really hits a very fine ball Tony Henderson one of the English-born players, and that's the spirit he wants from this side. Former captain, of course, of Australia. You can see him then asking for more effort, asking for more determination. That's Perry. Zindros. Bali. We apologise for this interruption and hope to resume our scheduled programming as soon as possible. The one Queenslander in the, in the Australian party. We've got an offside flag up. Well, just over a quarter of an hour of the second half gone. Still 1-1. And the early fire and pressure that the Greeks exerted on the Socceroos seems to have subsided a little. The Australians have fought back. And they're now well back in this game. Barnes. Eddie Krenchev. Krenchevich. Barnes again. Ball out. This is the first... Uh, game in a long tour which takes in two games in England against the B-side and against Leicester then Fiorentina in Italy Israel Hong Kong winding up with Indonesia and all in preparation for their hopes of qualifying in the World Cup Indonesia, Fiji New Zealand and Taiwan, they decide that they've got to get past. And of course Greece too, with their eyes on a place in the World Cups in Spain in 1982. Ball is out, Sean has to take it all the way back again. Good win by Greece in Denmark, showing that they are well ready for
Tomasas. And Davidson. Krenjevic. Good turn by Parapasanidis. He delayed that a bit. He was a bit lucky to get away with it. Now, Paraskos. For Greece. Zantopoulos. Jadikaris. Foul and a straightforward one. No, no real arguments about it by Henderson. And there's Jadikaris again. That's certainly making quite an impression on this Greek side. Valis being chased by Jungovic. And uh, Mitropoulos is being warmed up. Here's Tanzi. Now Sean. Sean sticking to his job, but goal kick it is. And they're warming up. Uh, yes, they're bringing Salamides on for the Socceroos. They're warming him up in the corner. While the Greeks appear to be getting another man stripped off. Greeks have already used two substitutions. And this ball through for Zindros. Wide then for Damniakis. Attacking Perry. Arlambridis and Zendros must be offside. A mile offside. Had to be. No problem. Now, are they going to make the substitution now? Really good and off. He's thinking of taking off uh, Gary Cole. Referee hasn't seen at the halfway line. Well, this will uh, be interesting when uh, Theo Salamides does get on the park. crowd I think will give him quite a big hand but in the meantime it's uh, still action with great division Gary Cole may be getting his last kick as did Akaris Tomasos the referee plays advantage Zendros breaking on the right Arlambrid is waiting in the middle and the obstruction given against Tanzi which could be very troublesome. Referee has not yet signaled for the substitution, which will bring Gary Cole off. There it is, number nine, Gary Cole coming off. The number 15 for the Socceroos, Theo Salamides. Born in the north of Greece. And one of his major functions already on this trip here to Athens is to help with the uh, interpreting now he's on and we face up to a free kick to Greece with Zedicaris trying to bend it round the wall we bit ambitious from that distance that range Xanthopoulos That was Zindros being tackled in possession. The free kick given, quickly taken. Zedekaris coming away from Henderson. Henderson still doggedly pounding away after him. That's not a bad looking cross. Harold Ambridis didn't make the touch. Barnes did. Goes for the corner. Very nearly halfway through this second half. And the score the same. 1-1. One -one. Domasos with the corner. Barnes gets a touch. Zindros, and it's popping about like a pea on a drum there at the moment. See what Damasus could do with it. Nothing at all. Oh, a corner. I would have thought that uh, the little man, Mimi Damasus, was the last man to touch the ball. But the linesman thinks otherwise. Damasus. 
high hanging board Rabusis couldn't pick that ball out it wouldn't bounce for him oh we can see it coming across there and it hung for a long time and it was Murray Barnes who got the head of the safety Adel Ambridis couldn't make contact and that's Ballis up in the air Davidson getting a touch for Sean oh and gave it to nobody but he wins it back or does he? no he doesn't Zindros the ball in for Adel Ambridis and here's Domasas and Domasa scores and the ground erupts on his 50th cap day. That really caps his day. Domasa puts Greece at the lead, 2-1. 23 minutes gone of the second half. And it's a storybook ending to a great international career for Domasa. The ball knocked into the middle. And Lambridis gets his head to it. The little man Domasa makes no mistake with the left foot Greg Woodhouse beaten and Greece are in the lead 2-1 what a tragedy for Australia but if anybody was going to have a birthday today I suppose it had to be Tomasos we've got all those presents before the game and undoubtedly Greek television want to show it again and again and again here's Tomasos look for the left foot look for the ball Greg Woodhouse did, couldn't find it in the back of the net. And the Panathinaikos supporters here will remember the great things that Demarcus did for them in his years at this club. Starting when he was about 16 or 17 years old. They figure too that this is an excellent way to end a career. So, free kick for Jim Tanzi to take. Davidson up. And that was uh, Parascos getting it clear. Tanzi to knock it in again. Valis away for Delicaris. And that uh, could be Henderson getting booked there. Because that was a rather foolish little player of temper. Kicking the ball away. One can understand it, I suppose, on this tour. Which looked so good when Australia were in front at 1-0. So we pull back to 1-1, one -one, and then the goal game going in against them from Damasos. And the Socceroos losing their concentration and losing their temper just a little bit. Krenjevic guessed that right. He beat the back pass, the header. Damasos. Well, the crowd rise to him again. He's going to get cheered this afternoon every time he touches the ball. And already uh, it's, it's given the lie to many stories that flooded Athens for the last couple of days that Damasos would only play for about 10 minutes on, his, on the day he got his 50th cap and retired from international football. He's still out there, he's a goal scorer, and he's striding around as though he owned the place. Ranthopoulos over the ball with Delicaris, Damasus gets involved as well. It's to an extent a question of character, and... Rudy Gutendorf is warming up both his goalkeeper, Alan Ma, and Arno Pertona at the moment. So he's going to use as many people as possible. Damiakis, Pasadidis, Salamidis, the ball did not go for the corner, he kept it in play. Dedicatis, the challenge coming from Henderson. And now we're going to have uh, goalkeeper substitution. 
this uh, decision to give Alan Ma from the Marconi Club, Spider Ma, a chance to get a little tour experience in international football here. Of course, he's had plenty of that before, some 15 caps for Australia. But a chance to get some early tour experience. Gary Woodhouse shakes his head a bit as he comes off. I don't think this is in any way a criticism of either of the goals that have gone in against Australia. Just the opportunity now to give a little experience to the other man on the tour. Here's Davidson for Salamides. Tansy making a break over on the left touch line. Salamides running forward for Jankovic. That might still reach Tansy. It wasn't intended for him. And now he's got a long way to go back as Zindros takes Greece forward. Cut up by Falco. And Jankovic, they've got to watch the offside. They're ready to break. The through ball would catch. It would have caught uh, Krenčevic offside, but the ball not played to him and the referee allowed play to go on. In the meantime, coach Panaglunis is prepared to make another substitution for, for Greece. He's got uh, Mavromatis warming up. Here's Eddie Krejcevic. Offside flag against Henderson, who has been moving forward much more. He's moving into uh, attacking positions more. So, another substitution. And we are going to have Mavrobatis from uh, Apollo of Athens and the crowd rise as the little man Domasos comes off to tumultuous applause his last appearance in the colours of the Greek national side. And he comes off having put his side 2-1 in front. So Mavromatis on for Domato. Damiakis and Mavromatis gets his first touch and it's from Davidson who takes the ball away from him. That was a neat cutout by Palascos. Now it's Henderson. And Australia need to really pick themselves up now to get back into this game. Here's Balis. Rabusis. Zindros. Tansy and fast and hard. Ballis wins it though. And Sean back helping his defence. First real touch then for Alan Maher. The Salamides for Australia. Henderson. Easy cut out then for Paraskas. Balis. Palascos turning into trouble and out of trouble all in the same flowing movement. That's Murray Barnes. Good break. Now, that was a very important challenge for Ravusis to make. Very there. Now Barnes forcing these Australians forward. Krenjevic. Touch then for Salamides. Losing possession. Damiakis and Salamides fighting together. Escalo. Salamides and a touch back for Meyer. Good sound, strong head about Balis. Avramatis. 
Adelaide Mabidi. Ran into trouble there. Now, Jankovic. Sean making a run down the centre, but this is Henderson coming in from the left side. And Davidson going out to the left as well. Salamides for Davidson. Leaves it, in fact, for Tanzi. Trenchevich waiting on the far post. Won't reach him. Comes to Sean. And easily struck out. And there's a break here for the Greeks if they utilise it properly. They're attacking five on four. Delicaris taking over to let the left foot go. Hit Davidson. Meyer saves the corner. Nope, ball out. That was uh, Steve Perry doing a touch of the racing David Devils down the touchline. Very nearly not the camera over too. And yet another substitution by Greece. And another one for the Socceroos. We bring Constantino off and put on Muecas from the Ethicos Club. Whilst uh, Batona comes on for the Socceroos. And Eddie Krenchevich comes off. We can run a lost count of the number of substitutions that have now been made. But the sides are very different at this moment from the ones that set off at the start. Mavromatis. Damian Nikos. Oh, looking for the number 12 coming down the south far side. Rantopoulos, who was offside. Both coaches now having made four substitutions. I was saying to you earlier that uh, Patagoulis has got to be the substitution king of international football. Made six against Cyprus in his first game this year. So he's still got two to go. And in fact, he's still got two left on the bench. Tamsi getting that one away. Here's Bubbies. Xanthopoulos. Good thrown ball out. Taken down well by Mayan. Knocked out quickly then to Salamides. Henderson for Salamides. Bertona. All in for Davidson. Bertona trying to get there again. It wouldn't drop for Djankovic. Salamides. Davidson, a little touch down. Keeps possession. Did well. Now it's Henderson. Got to watch the offside. He's going all the way on his own. No, here's Djankovic. And for one moment, Moekas, the substitute goalkeeper for Greece, was looking a bit anxious, as though he might get his first shot fired at him. There's uh, Panagoulis in the middle, smoking the interminable cigarette, shouting the orders. Manager and coach of the Greek side, flamboyant figure, rather like Rudy Gutendorf, the Australian coach. That's Sean. Henderson nearly got there. Boyekos, so it was foul. I'm not too sure that it was by Henderson. As one of his own defenders. Here's Zindros. Panathinaikos, uh, local supporters up on their feet on the far side. But it was Zidros of Aris, Aris Salonika, who went down hurt. The ball in to Xanthopoulos. Henderson comes back to him again. Now it's Delicaris. 
once again aiming for Arlambridis Arlambridis not getting much change going through the centre the uh, Australian defence has been reasonably secure there Foscaro and here's Batona Davidson Davidson certainly a clear success in this Australian side Murray Barnes being injured uh, being fouled rather by uh, Ravusis and noticeably now Australian tactics are to search and hunt for this equalizing goal 2-1 down they are here in Athens and Murray Barnes the skipper going forward as much as he possibly can Scalo and Batona dropping back into the fence although well, Batona has gone forward now onto the right side of the park the wall is not yet 10 yards back not by well not by four yards plus spot referee strides away and Henderson tries to chip it turns away in shame wasn't a particularly good attempt but then I don't really think he stood much chance because of the uh, because of the way the the wall was formed up here's Bullies Davidson tripped from behind by Bullies a fellow that's uh, not too fussy where he puts his feet at times Henderson good running by Barnes and he scored an equaliser yes indeed he has that's 2-2 two -two. well the skipper's done it Rudy Glittendorf's on his feet there's a happy coach and manager of the Socceroos well that was quick thinking then by Murray Barnes just over 39 minutes are gone he beats the offside trap comes forward as he has done from his defensive position a left footer and Buzirkas well he doesn't know whether it's Easter or Christmas but the Australians can tell him it's 2-2 now well that really is something the Greek fans still on their feet around here claiming that he was offside Murray Barnes but uh, the game goes on the score is without any question 2-2 two -two. Australia are right back in this game and all through their skipper Murray Barnes Avramitis for Zendros though as the Greeks come back again and there's a lot of skill about that winger and he falls powerfully and the crowd are up for the penalty and it is not going to be given despite the intimidation of the fans who are now hurling their empty bottles of pop onto the park Zendros's fall does not produce the penalty and it is a Greek referee remember he merely gives the corner kick and going over to take it will be Delicaris Delicaris to take it with something like five minutes left to play and a little anger boiling up not only around the arena but around this commentary position another corner to come Delicatis once again the penalty box crowded with people this one's high and hanging and everybody goes up and Ballas is there to knock it back in again and Murray Barnes is there again and that is a corner on the left side now and coming across to take it Delicaris the local hero a Panathinaikos player taking this one left footed and the Greek team all in there looking for the ball in the air Rambidis was up and Zendros puts it away over beyond the line in fact that was good goalkeeping well for a moment I thought it was good goalkeeping by Maher he snatched the ball out of the air hope to strike a quicker back quick attack back for Australia but in fact the ball had gone over the line for the goal kick so there were very anxious moments there for the traveling touring Socceroos but they hung on to it it's still 2-2 there's about three minutes left and the Greek fans here in the Panathos Stadium still showing their displeasure most of the plastic plates cups even bottles of pop 
the lemonade. Those are the round objects you see on the park. Those are little plastic containers of lemonade and coke and that sort of thing. Now being hurled out. And uh, a lot of youngsters around our commentary position getting excited too. And Australian fans might have got excited there if Peter Shan had gone another two yards with that run. It was the number five, Parascos, who stopped it. corner for Australia Barnes is in the box and the ball knocked out as far as Sean trying to turn, hit it far post again Selamides oh, and it's in it's 3-2 and Selamides a Greek board lad from North Greece playing here has put Australia 3-2 in the lead with a softer goal as if he's ever likely to score Tobas has had his day and now Salamides has got one back for, for Australia and there couldn't have been a soft the goalkeeper that's a seen the ball and it's gone into the back of the net against him that really was a terrible goal for the Greek goalkeeper but Salamides well he's the happiest Greek in this stadium at the moment 3-2 <laughs> Australia and with less than two minutes to go Australia are surely are going to get a result, a result here, although Delicaris... Oh, no! Absolutely no way! Oh. That was unbelievable! I think if we see that again in slow motion, that has got to be the international con of 1980, or if not for all time. Delicaris had set his heart on getting that penalty. Skillful player though he is. He'd set his heart on getting that penalty when he picked the ball up 20 yards from the line and he went for it all the way. And all he did, he waited for the tackle and then he dived. I really have got to see that again on slow motion because that was the big con of all time. But it, if it turns out at 3-3, well... And Delicaris is going to take the penalty himself when they can clear the baubles and beads as they appear to be from here they're plastic tinnies actually Delicaris he's got it it's 3-3 Murray Barnes who got himself uh, booked I think could probably subscribe to the view that the Greeks have a word for it Greek referee has added time on for that penalty to be taken it's a 15 seconds over time now. I think the Greek referee will add a little bit more on just to make it look a little better. But that, I think, is a terrible way for Australia to be denied a win on this tour. As assuredly, that is what is going to happen. All right, the goal by Salamides was soft, but the penalty was a joke. There's Salamides now as we go just about a minute into stoppage time that's Henderson and Tanzi squares up immediately as a yellow card from the referee for Henderson who totally deserves it there's no way that he he should have done anything as stupid as that it was the anger as much as anything of the penalty award the atmosphere of this crowd i was saying to you at the start the greeks love to play in this panathinaikos stadium which is much smaller than two or three of their other stadiums because the crowd can intimidate the visiting teams they get close to them here's delicaris good player and a free kick given against tanzi and more of the plastic bottles are out of the park so we're into a minute and a half of stoppage time now. I wonder if the referee's going to add on enough time for Greece to win the match. Delicatis then. Looking for left-footed in-swing with the free kick. Dozens of people in the box. And Marr came up there good and strong. Fine thrown ball. Trying to get Jankovic away. And finally... A referee who, whose name I will record for posterity, Mr. Vourakis, calls an end to the proceedings here in the 
Stadium in Athens. And if those Australian boys down on the park are feeling disappointed, well, I totally sympathise with them. Referee Rudy Guttendorf is heading for the referee, which is a bad thing for him to do. He's just got to take this. It was a bad result. But there it was at 2-2, and we saw Salamides steal uh, a very soft goal to put Australia in front. But the penalty, well, that one by Delicaris, that was as bad a hometown decision as I have ever seen. I'm sure back in Australia that uh, it's an event that will be discussed and rerun time and time and time again. But I think the Australian boys on this tour have got off well. They might have won it. They certainly drew it. They got 3-3 here against Greece. And I'm sure that Johnny Warren, you will find a, a very great deal to discuss in the aftermath of this match. From Hugh Johns here in Athens, on behalf of Channel 028 Australia, I will say good afternoon to you, because that's still afternoon here in Athens. Bye-bye. Thank you, Hugh Jones. That's it. That was, that's the end of our first live international soccer telecast. John, it was a different match, wasn't it? Yeah, it was certainly different and probably uh, just shows what a funny game football is. Uh, Hugh Johns, I, I differ a little bit, uh, perhaps because we've seen a lot more of the Australian team and the Australian players and uh, know that they, they are capable of so much better stuff, if you like. Um, I didn't think they, I thought the, the result a little bit to be leading 3-2 flattered them a little bit on the overall uh, play, but then to be robbed and they really were, there's no way in the world that uh, that was a penalty. Um, it was unjustified that they ended up drawing, but uh, overall uh, probably a lot of work to be done with the Australian team, a lot, uh, a lot of improvement in their, their teamwork and a lot uh, better performance from uh, a lot of their key players. I agree. I think that this tour uh, will bring these players together and there will be more cohesion at the end of the, of the tour. Um, I think the second half was rather scrappy. The ending was quite spectacular and this is why, you know, we, we are excited. We, we forgot what happened in the, in the past 40 minutes, you know. We only remember what happened in the past five minutes. But anyway, uh, I think it was a scrappy game. The goals were fantastic, good individual efforts. And I think that Damasus was the best man of the match. Yeah, I'd agree there too. Okay. I, I, if I could, just on that, I think that uh, the Greece lost control of the game once Damasus came off. Right. Well, thank you for watching. Uh, please join us again tomorrow night at 6.30, or I should say tonight. Uh, we'll be showing the highlights of this match again. Thank you for watching.